All right, guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to solve a question about projection of a vector on another vector uh, using the dot product. And uh, we have a 3D question that we need to determine the magnitude of the projected component of the uh, three kilonewton force acting along the axis BC of the pipe. So for first step of these kind of questions, so what we need to find at the end is that so we have to find the magnitude of the uh, FBC. And for that, we need to find the dot product of FBC and the unit vector for the pipe BC. So let's start with the unit vector of the pipe. Uh, that's what we have for the X component. So for, we're moving from B to C. Uh, so we're moving from B to C. And let's see how we're changing uh, in X direction. So if we look at that, we'll see that uh, for X, we are moving from here to here, which is uh, 3 meter that we have in here. Uh, if we look at the Y component, we are moving from, again, point B to here, which we know it's 4. And for the Z component, we'll see that we are going uh, this much down, which we know is one millimeter, one meter. Uh, and that would be our K component. For finding the magnitude, uh, we have three squared plus four squared plus one squared. And if we find those, we'll have three over uh, square root of 26 plus 4 over 26 minus 1 and same thing. So now we have found the unit vector for uh, UBC. Uh, next step, we need to find the unit vector for CD. So for CD, uh, if we look at here, we'll see that we are moving for the X component. If we look at it, we are moving from here to here, which is five. For Y component, we'll see that, again, we are moving from here to here, which is in the opposite direction. So we'll have a negative sign. And if we look at Z component, we'll see that we are on minus one at the beginning and we are going to the x y plane so we'll be positive one for the k component so that's how we move uh in z component which is one so now we have this uh the cd since we know from the question that the f is three kilonewton force we know that f in a vector form will be f times the unit vector, which we call this CD, and we'll simply have three times what we have uh, in here. And if we do that, we'll find uh, three times five will have 15 over or I will have 12 over 42 for J and we'll have 3 over for the K. And let's get back to the question and what we need to find out. So we need to find the projected component of this force, which would be the dot product. And since we need the magnitude, uh, we just have to find the dot product of F, which we found it here in a vector form. And we need to find the dot product of the F and uh, the unit vector for BC, which is what we have in here. So from these two, we can find the, the final answer. Again, the question is asking for the magnitude. So we simply have the dot product of F, which is 15, 42 I minus 12. 42j plus okay so we'll have the dot product here and our 
uh, u will be uh, u b c will be three over minus six for i plus four over j and that would be our k so the rest of this is solving this dot product and for this we simply multiply x components to x component y components to y components and z components to z components and we're gonna uh, add these two together so let's start with the x so we'll have 15 times uh, 3 we have 15 times 3 here and we have 42 times the square root of 26 that's from our x from our y we have minus 12 times 4 and we have again the same thing uh, at the bottom of the ratio and the last one is the z component which is three times minus one and here we have 42 times 26 and all we need to do is to find this ratio and if we uh, find this we'll find minus six over 1092 and this will be minus 18 16 kilonewton so simply the magnitude will be 18 16 kilonewton and the negative sign in here just indicates that the component um, is in the opposite direction of the ubc which we can see that the uh if this is our bc the projection will be uh in the opposite direction of the bc which is the negative sign that we are uh getting in here but uh the question is simply asking for the magnitude which is what we found in